the pillars of salah, its obligatory aspects, and sunnas. The scholars of fiqh divided the acts of the prayer into pillars, obligatory acts, and sunnas, or recommended acts. The pillars of the prayer are the intention, standing in the obligatory salah when one has the ability to do so, the initiating or the first takbir, the recitation of al-fatiha, the bowing, the rising to be fully upright after bowing, the prostration on the seven parts of the body, the sitting between the two prostrations, as well as sitting for the final tashahud, and reciting the final tashahud or sending blessings on the Prophet, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him during the final tashahud. Saying at taslim or the saying of Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, which marks the end of salah. Being serene when performing every essential part of salah and performing all of the above mentioned pillars in sequence. For all the above, if one leaves anything of them out deliberately, his salah is nullified. However, for him who left anything out due to forgetfulness, his situation may be due to him not remembering this omission until after reaching the same point in the following raka'ah. At this point, he will let the current raka'ah take the place of the former one in which he omitted a pillar. Thereafter, he prostrates for forgetting exactly the same way he prostrates when performing the two prostrations in the prayer and then says taslim after the prostration. But if he remembers that he forgot a pillar from a raka'ah before reaching the same pillar in the following raka'ah, in this case, he must return to perform that pillar as soon as he remembers it. An example of this is when a man forgets to make ruku', then prostrated immediately after completing his recitation. Thereafter, he remembered whilst in prostration that he had not made ruku'. In such a case, he must stand, make the ruku', and continue praying the rest of the prayer as dorma. As well as the pillars, there are obligatory acts of prayer. These are the takbir, said while changing postures in salah, and saying subhana rabbi al azim while bowing, and sami' allahu liman hamidah, by the imam and a person praying alone. However, saying it is not prescribed for the person observing salah behind the imam. Saying Rabbana wa hamd while rising from bowing is also obligatory and Subhana Rabbi al-A'la during prostration and Rabbi Ghfirli in between the two prostrations as well as saying the first tashahud and also sitting down to recite it. If one who is praying deliberately omits any of these obligatory acts then his prayer is void and he has to repeat it all over again. But if he omitted any of them due to forgetfulness his prayer is still correct and he has to make up for his forgetfulness by performing the prostration of forgetfulness. Everything mentioned in the manner of salah, apart from the conditions of salah and its pillars and compulsory parts are all considered as recommended acts. For example, al-istiftah, the invocation said silently before reciting Fatiha and at ta'awudh by saying a'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim and al-basmala by saying bismillah ar-rahman ar-rahim also any tasbih for example subhan rabbi al-a'la said after the first one during bowing and prostration and any that is a surah recited after fatiha as well as raising one's hands while saying the initiating takbir are all recommended acts Placing the right hand over the left while standing before and after bowing and casting one's gaze towards the point of prostration are also sunnah, as is keeping the arms away from the stomach and one sides during prostration. There are also other types of sunnah, and for all of them, the omission does not affect the validity of salah and does not make prostration due to forgetfulness mandatory when any of them is left out. If one who prayed has doubt, with regards to his prayer, after the completion of the salah, then this form of doubt should not be given consideration. But if he has doubts during the salah, then he acts on what he feels is more likely, then prostrates due to forgetting after making the final salam. The basis for this is what the Prophet may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him stipulated in his statement. 
When any of you is in doubt regarding his salah, he should try as much as possible to choose the most correct and then proceed in his salah. Thereafter he says, at taslim Finally, after saying at taslim he should prostrate twice. But, if none of the two opinions are weightier than the other in his opinion, then he chooses the least of the two options and completes his salah from there on. Thereafter he prostrates for forgetting before saying the taslim For example, a man praying dhuhr, prayer, has doubts concerning a raka'ah, whether it was the second or third but not one of the two was more likely in his view. In this case, he chooses the least of the two options. So considering it the second rak'ah, he completes his salah and thereafter prostrates for forgetting, making a taslim. The proof of this is in the statement of the Prophet, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. When any of you have a doubt in his salah and does not know how many he has prayed, whether three or four, he should cast aside his doubt and complete his salah based on what he is sure about. Then he prostrates twice before saying the final salam. A person observing salah may add an extra bowing or prostration, etc. in his salah. So if he remembers while making the addition, it is compulsory for him to stop making the addition and complete his salah normally. But if the person remembers after completing the addition, he completes his salah without being concerned about anything. In both cases, he should prostrate for forgetting. After saying the final salam. The proof of this is based on the hadith of Ibn Mas'ud, may Allah be pleased with him, who said, Indeed the Prophet, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, once observed five raka'ah for dhuhr. Someone said, Has the number of salah been increased? The Prophet inquired, What do you mean? He, the questioner said, You observed five raka'ahs. Upon that the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, prostrated twice after he had said the final salam. If the person observing salah says the final salam before completing the prayer and does not remember until after a long time, he is to re-offer the entire salah. However, if he remembers after a short while, for example, after two to three minutes, he is just to complete his salah and then prostrate for forgetting after completing the prayer. It is mandatory for the person praying behind an imam to follow him in his prostration for forgetting, even if he joined him after the cause for forgetting. And if the person observing salah has to observe two types of prostration, while one is to be observed before making the salam, and the other after the final salam, he only observes the one before making the final salam.